Many Muslims today attack the Apostle Paul. Imagine our surprise when we turn to classic Muslim commentators and find them promoting Paul. Imagine our even greater surprise when we realize that the Quran itself affirms the reliability of Paul. Allah confirms the reliability of the Apostle Paul. In chapter 61, verse 14 of the Quran, Allah says that he aided the true followers of Jesus until they became uppermost over those who rejected Jesus. Allah says, O you who believe, be helpers in the cause of Allah, as Jesus, son of Mary, said to his disciples, Who are my helpers in the cause of Allah? The disciples said, We are helpers in the cause of Allah. So a party of the children of Israel believed, and another party disbelieved. Then we aided those who believed against their enemy, and they became uppermost. In his commentary on this verse, Yusuf Ali says that it refers to Allah aiding the Christians until they permeated the Roman Empire. But the Christians who permeated the Roman Empire were what Muslims would call Pauline Christians. They believed in the message and authority of the Apostle Paul. So if Allah helped the true Christians rise to power, and the Christians who rose to power believed in the message and authority of the Apostle Paul, we have Allah's stamp of approval on the Apostle Paul. One of the most respected Muslim commentators of all time, Qurtubi, comments on Surah 61 verse 14 as follows. It was said, that this verse was revealed about the apostles of Jesus. May peace and blessings be upon him. Ibn Asak stated that of the apostles and disciples that Jesus sent to preach, there were Peter and Paul who went to Rome. This is a Muslim scholar telling us that Paul was sent by Jesus. The Muslim historian Tabri agrees that Paul was a follower of Jesus. He writes, among the apostles and the followers who came after them were the apostle Peter and Paul, who was a follower and not an apostle. They went to Rome. Why would respected Muslim commentators list Paul among the true witnesses of Jesus who preached in Rome? The reason they describe Paul this way is that many classical Muslim commentators, unlike Muslims today, based their views on the Quran. Allah said that he sent the gospel as a guidance for mankind and that he would protect Jesus' followers. So these commentators realized that to say that the apostle Paul corrupted the gospel is to insult Allah. If Allah sent the gospel as a guidance and promised to protect Jesus' followers, but was overpowered by the apostle Paul, this would make Paul more powerful than Allah. So when modern Muslims tell us that Allah's plans were foiled by the Apostle Paul, they're not making Paul look bad. They're making Paul greater than their God. These Muslims need to change the takbir from Allahu Akbar to Bulusu Akbar. So the Quran affirms the reliability of Paul. We can trust what Paul says according to Allah. And what does Paul say? Galatians 1, verses 8 to 9. But even if we, or an angel from heaven, should preach to you a gospel contrary to what we have preached to you, he is to be accursed. As we have said before, so I say again now, if any man is preaching to you a gospel contrary to what you received, he is to be accursed. Paul says that anyone who preaches a gospel different from the one he preached to the Galatians is under God's curse. But Muhammad preached a gospel different from the one Paul preached to the Galatians. Hence, Muhammad is under God's curse. The only way for Muslims to avoid this conclusion is to say that Paul was a deceiver who corrupted Jesus' message. But as we've seen, the Quran affirms the reliability of Paul. And since Allah promised to protect Jesus' true followers and claimed that no one can change his words, the only way Paul could have corrupted Jesus' message and led his followers astray was to overpower Allah, which brings Muslims back to their new takbir, Bulus u Akbar.
Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In case you stumbled upon this video while browsing or searching, I wanted to let you know that it's part of a series comparing Paul and Muhammad. So if you'd like to see the full series, be sure to click on the playlist. If you're already in the playlist, you're about to see that while Muhammad's message self-destructs, Paul's doesn't.